वेलकम टू द मेंटेनेंस वीडियो ऑफ एस थर्टी सेफ्टी वाल टूल्स रिक्वायर्ड डिस असेंबली ऑफ एस थर्टी सेफ्टी वाल स्टार्ट डिस असेंबली ऑफ सेफ्टी वाल बाय रिमूविंग द एस थर्टी कनेक्शन फ्रॉम द मेन बॉडी Take out the seat manually from the main body. Now, separate the main body and bonnet by unscrewing the main body. Take out the spring guide from the main body. Then, manually remove assembly of spindle and spindle bush from the main body. Now unscrew the bonnet cover The nut can be removed from this side Take the nut removal tool and place its screws into the holes of nut Then rotate the nut removal tool and take out the nut After that take out the disc springs and spring rest manually from the bonnet Now with the help of pick remove o-rings from the S30 connection seat main body and spindle bush Inspection of parts of safety valve. Check S30 connections groove of o-ring and threads for any damage. Also check the o-ring of looseness and thickness. Inspect inner diameter, ID, periphery. and the surface of the seat for dent marks or anywhere check the o-ring of the seat for proper stiffness inspect out thread inner thread inner surface and periphery of the main body for anywhere or damage check the o-ring of the main body for thickness check the inner surface of the spring guide inspect surface and groove for o-ring of spindle assembly also check the conical surface of spindle for any damage check the o-ring of spindle for damage Now check inner surface and thread of bonnet for any damage or wear. Look at the surface of spring rest should not have any damage. Make sure that the spring should not have any crack or damaged surface 
check nut for any damage in threads. Same as check bonnet cover for any damage in the thread. Reassembly of S30 safety valve. Place and set O-ring inside the groove of S30 connection. Assemble O-ring into seat's groove. Place O-ring for the main body on its position properly. Place the O-ring inside the groove on the periphery of the spindle bush. Install seat into the main body in such a way that flat surface will be facing upward. Then screw the S30 connection into the main body and tighten it properly. Take the spindle assembly and install it into the main body. Make sure that conical portion will face inside the main body. After that, install a spring guide facing a flat surface outside into the main body from the spindle side. Now, take the bonnet and install spring rest in such a manner that flat surface will face upward. Take nylon rod and place disc springs in series and parallel combination. Place two disc springs in such a manner that concave portion will face upward. Then place two disc springs in such a manner that the convex portion will face downward. Repeat a combination of the first four disc springs to place remaining disc springs into nylon rod. Now screw bonnet with the main body and tight it. Then install the spring on its position properly with the help of a nylon rod. After that, install nut, a flat surface facing upward. Use nut removal tool to tight nut properly. At last, screw the bonnet cover on the top of the bonnet and tight it. 